Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over checkbox. Now in using or learning checkbox, we're going to be using a couple of different things that we've already learned to kind of reinforce it. Okay, so repetition is always important. So this will all be the same. The my stateful extends stateful widget will be the same as well. And um, so right here, my state extends the state. And what I'm going to have is a scaffold bottom navigation bar we've done that a new button bar what we've learned before so the button bar is going to be down here and um, i'm going to make it nice and simple without any other values or any other properties and then i'm going to have this in the, one of the children be the new checkbox okay and the other is the new text so the text is right here this is false it's listed right up here and the bool checkbox state is false right here so it displays as false so with checkbox, we're going to have value checkbox state, which is false. And the string is this is false. So unchecked is false. Checked is true. Unchanged is one of the fundamental properties, right? So if you have a state, you have to change the state of it by clicking on it, right? And so I'm just going to say bool, just E. I'm not going to use that E for anything, but I'm going to say something. And I'm going to go down here, say void something set state remember we have to set the state of this again so what's the state well the state of the checks box is true if it's true and um or else it's going to be false right so it's pretty straightforward this is where it's a little bit tricky okay so watch this it's false i click on it it becomes true i click on it it becomes this is false now what happens here is when we first start this out it starts off as false right and this is the difference between just a regular method and um, an actual state. So this tricked me for quite a while, actually. So we have the state. The state is going to be false. It starts off as false, right? So it's false. I click on it. And what happens is it goes, it's false. So it goes down here and it types, this is true. Well, why is that? Well, because your state is currently false, but when you change the state, it changes it as true. So in other words, it's false now, I click on it, it changes the state to true, but it was originally false. So I hope that's clear. It was false before, I click on it, and then it changes the state here to true, but it also lists it as true as, as well. All right, so if we don't think of this in terms of states, this doesn't make sense. But because it is, now it's true, checked is true. You click on it, you change it. It goes through here and it types this as false. But at the same time, the very next line, it changes this line as this is false. So the state changes in both conditions themselves, right? So um, that messed me up a little bit, and that's how we have to think a little bit differently when we go and talk about Flutter and states. The state and how it changes from one state to the next, the state of true and the state of false, and, and how we make these changes in the future with um, any widget um, that we deal with, okay? So I, I hope this was helpful. It certainly was very um, learning, uh, very helpful for me in learning um, more of Flutter. And like I said, let's keep going on. Thanks.